This is a kalimba. You know the ones. Plink, plonk. Yeah, that's it. Sounds kind of nice. You can't run it through an amp and rattle your neighbor's skull with it, can you? Let's make one that can. Ingredients going inside. Metal electronics case. Grand in bar. Quarter inch jack socket. Two small bulbs with a corresponding small pair of nuts. Worst shot me? A drill. Solder and I complete with solder. Piezo pickups. Double sided tape on an adhesive of your choice. Quarter inch mail, metal mail, do mail, do mail, do mail, jack. An amp and a DA double or an integrator you're choosing. Cross. Man, this cat's so fucking clueless. Delicious little fuck. So, we want to start by marking out where we want to drill the holes to fit our jack socket and grounding bar. It's really important to get your socket a hole the right size, nice and snug, so we get a stable and secure connection when we plug in the final product. You know, you don't want your jack wiggling around loaded. No, no one likes that. So you get your floppy little ruler courtesy of Ikea and mark out your center point before drawing around the socket with a sharpie like so. You then want to make uh, similar markings on your grounding bar. I think most grounding bars will probably come with holes pre-drilled for you, but I'm going as cheap as possible here. Good stuff. We then want to make corresponding holes on the top of the box so we can put our bolts through and tighten them on the inside. 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 Oh yeah. Um. Uh, please excuse the big old plaster on my wrist. There was a. <laughs> Yeah, one of them. Uh, so we're just drilling here. You know, I'm gonna speed through it. Uh, I'm probably missing out a lot of health and safety stuff, I should be saying. So, uh, I'm fine. You know, just you know, don't cut yourself. I'm fine, right? I'm sure. Yeah, seems to be done. Oh, look at that. Ooh, lovely. Oh, snug as a bug. Uh, yeah, get rid of these guys. They are sharp. They will go in your skin and like they don't want to come out Beautiful ah oh, beautiful See right through it All right, we are at the assembly point you want to take your electronics box take a socket and poke that in through the inside there we go. You then want to take the nut that would have come with the socket. Uh, screw that on the outside. You want to get it nice and tight. So I was saying before, you don't want this wobbling around. Uh, take your two little bolts, pop them through. If you didn't get the holes matched up, you might have some trouble doing this. So try and make sure you get that done right first time. Uh, there you have it. Looking good. Ah, halfway there. Okay, we're at the tricky part here, putting on the Pietro pickups. You can see I've cut a little bit of double-sided tape, put them on the back, and uh, you simply want to stick these to the uh, underside of the top of the box. Uh, I'm using two different sizes, so hopefully I can capture a wider range of frequencies. Um, yeah, I do the same with the small one as you did with the big one. Leaving this in is to demonstrate it's well annoying trying to get the uh, back of the double sided tape off but you know you get there in the end okay you can see we've got a white disc in the middle with the red wire coming off this is our live signal uh, and the bronze ring around with the black wire that's our ground so you've got three prongs one here and one here these are your lives and this guy in the middle is your ground so you want to attach your red wires to the live prongs and both of the black wires to the ground so the red wires get one prong each um, this is a bit of a funky socket. Uh, most of them don't really look like this. Uh, none of them will ever really come with manuals. The electric parts don't really. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting one like this. You know, with the plastic cheap casing, you can't see what's going on inside. And uh, we'll find out a little later in the video why I really wouldn't recommend these. A little health and safety tip while you're soldering. Um, don't burn yourself. You know, if you're not using the solder, Turn it off, put it somewhere safe. Don't lean on it like I did during this video because it's minging, like it bare hurts and, and you know, it smells like pork. It's all scabby and gross. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the circuit done. This should work, should. Be admiring my handiwork there. Um, so yeah, then we want to get a pack of these guys. 
Uh, these are going to act as our tines. The little, little things that we pluck while we play. Uh, so raise up one of your screws, poke it through, screw it down tight. Uh, you want it really tight, otherwise you're going to kind of get like a fuzzy sound with it rattling around. This is just a check that we're getting an acoustic signal going through. Slap a jack in your interface, slap a jack in the kalimba, and uh-uh. Yeah, something's up here. We don't have to turn it up to see that. We're getting weird signal. We shouldn't get that just through touching the wire or leaving it on its own. Um, tried to figure out what was going on. I rewired it. I screwed everything back in real tight. Just had a fiddle with everything. And, uh, you know, just got weird signal, a bit of sound from the kalimba, but nothing usable. You know, call me a bad workman blaming my tools, but... I blame the jack socket. That guy sucks. Um, yeah, just a funky socket there. I don't know if you can see it, the, the jack kind of wiggles around in there. Yeah, bad. So uh, tried to order a new one uh, and a lot of other parts to make a couple of these guys. Uh, and while I was waiting, we got hit by the Corona baby. We got hit by the Rones hard. And I hope everyone's doing okay and staying safe. Uh, but yeah, it meant nothing really came through for a while. Uh, but I finally got sent a new jack so I could chuck this guy out in a bit, mate. Um, yeah, this right here is a much more standard uh, socket. It's what you'll find in a guitar. You've got this prong here, which is, touches the jack live. This little guy here is your live. And this slightly longer guy is your ground. Um, yeah, you only want to attach the wires to the little prongs with the holes in. Both the red ones going to the small one, which is the live. You can see it's the live because it's actually the same piece of metal that attaches to the little bendy prong, which touches the jack. You see, we've got the red wires going there and the black wires going to the ground. Much neater, much better looking. Yeah, happy now. This is looking good. Uh, sped up putting these screws in because it just took me an embarrassingly long time to, to get them in there. Um, you know, we pushed through and we got it. We got it in there. Oh, that's right. Uh, snap one of these little hair bobbin doodahs in half. All right, now you want to get your screw nice and loose. Loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. Uh, then slide this half a bobbin back in there and uh, tighten it back up. Remember, get it really tight, otherwise, you'll get a little kind of fuzz. Uh, push the screwdriver underneath to bend it up and yeah dum 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 second time round slap a jack slap another jack slap some effects on there and are we getting some signal are we getting something oh we're getting something it's looking good it's looking real good now you see these times they sound kind of cool but they don't look great once you got a load of them on there and they're pretty hard to tune those little bobbins. So I dismantled the first kalimba you saw and put the tines from that on because I couldn't order any. And uh, I don't know, man, I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah, mate, I think we're ready. I think we're fucking ready. Cool. Cheers for watching. I hope you got something useful out of that. If you do go ahead and make your own kalimba, please bear in mind health and safety, even though I breezed over it. There's a few things in there that could hurt you. If you enjoyed any of the music you heard, I'm going to put a SoundCloud link below. All the music you did here was made by me with the kalimba that you saw being made in the video. So if you're looking for any inspiration to what to do with the kalimba once you've made it, you've got some there. Next video I'm going to put out will be based on making a hi-fi sound system kind of thing. So yeah, stay tuned. Other than that, stay safe. Have a good one. Other than that, stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, fuck, stay safe, and have a good one. <laughs>